Hey you guys, welcome back. As one of my viewers said recently, less face, more car. And I've kind of taken that to heart. So in this video, I'm gonna be tinkering with my new drone and uh, it's pretty exciting. It's the, uh, the DJI Phantom 4 Pro. Um, I picked it up secondhand off eBay and uh, today I'm just gonna be seeing if I can take some uh, shots of my car driving um, and operate the drone safely. So uh, this is really just a bit of an experimental video. Um, the drone itself is pretty awesome. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's still being manufactured. There are a couple of more recent versions and you can get different types. Um, in fact, I, I think I tell a lie. It's just the Phantom 4, it's not the Pro. Um, there are a couple of differences with the, the quality of the video, um, but the main difference is that the controller here doesn't come with a screen. So this is the remote control and you gotta plug your uh, smartphone or tablet and sit it on the cradle on the top and uh, you run an app provided by uh, DJI and uh, there you go, you just get to operate it. You can, uh, there's loads of, loads of cool features. I'm not gonna do a, a full in-depth tour on, on, on this video. I might, I might do one in the future. Um, but th there are, are a bunch of really cool, what they call intelligent flight modes. So um, you can uh, take a look at the, the map that's being presented to you or the, the real-time video footage of what the drone's looking at. And you can do things like draw a path uh, for the drone to fly along. Uh, you can just um, click on, on the visual where you want it to fly and it'll fly there directly. Uh, you can do active track, which is really cool, where you draw a shape around a car or a person um, and it will do its best to follow. It also has um, object detection um, and collision, uh, only on it, I think, front and down. So as it's flying forward, um, you know, if it notices power lines or trees um, or anything like that, bridges, um, it will automatically stop and, and move and go out of the way. Uh, which is super cool, obviously, if you're operating, you know, if you're doing it, you, it's following you on your, on your bike or your car. Um, settings are pretty fiddly and pretty advanced, but I think, you know, once I get the hang of it, it's going to be pretty cool. Anyway, um, it comes in a backpack and, uh, I, I, you know, the, the, one of the reasons I wanted to, to, to get it was to sort of take my video making to the next level. Um, you know, taking uh, less face and more car to heart. <laughs> Um, but also, we're about 30 days or 40 days away from our road trip uh, to the Tail of the Dragon um, in the Carolinas, in the old Smoky Mountains. And, uh, it, you know, it's, it's kind of like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, getting a group of friends together, um, going on this 1,000, 1,200, you know, mile drive. Um, I really want to do my best to, to really capture the moments that we have there and, and uh, get some really great kind of cinematic shots. Uh, of uh, you know driving along the twisty turny roads, um, maybe getting some aerial you know sort of footage of the road itself. Uh, so I'm pretty excited. Anyway, uh, just a short video today. I hope you enjoy it, and uh, I'm going to be spending a lot of time uh, figuring out how to use this thing and perfect it before we go. So once again, um, thank you for watching. Thanks for all your support, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. All right, bye.